So what you're seeing here is some uh, Tibetan singing bowls. These are essentially resonant systems. And I want to use these to demonstrate something to everyone about what we need to do in our experiments uh, moving forward. Hi, so I'm here with Pubu, who's from Tibet, and Kim, who's from Vietnam. And they're both from uh, Buddhist countries, and in their hands they have two Tibetan singing bowls. Now, they're a bit like some of our experiments. They're just sitting there, being very stable, doing nothing, uh, whether we heat them up or cool them down. Uh, but they're essentially a resonant system uh, that needs some stimulation. And a lot of the scientists are reporting you need to either stimulate them with lasers or with thermal shock or pressure shock or uh, radio frequency stimulation, something like this. And just to simplify this, I'm going to ask them to do two different ways to stimulate these singing bowls. And uh, my uh, beautiful partner there, Kim, who's uh, going to give birth at the end of the month with our first child, is going to show the first way. Okay, so what she did there was gave it a good hard shock and the bowl sang at its resonant frequency to dissipate that energy. And I'm going to ask Pubu to do the second method. So what she's doing there is she's got a little gamel type thing and it has, whoa, listen to that. It has some suede on there and as the friction sort of at the right speed of stimulation, the, 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 the pressure is released, it's vibrating that bowl at its resonant frequency and allowing it to sing. So I'm just going to take a closer look at that. That's what we want our experiments to do. Now we can either slightly, with a little bit of energy, cause it to res resonate, or, Kim, Kim will demonstrate again, we can give it a good hard shock. Give it a good hard shock, Kim. <laughs> Go on. This? Hard shock. Okay, now just to show that it can be stimulated the other way, Kim's not done this before, so let's see if you can get it. Now you see what's happening there is she isn't moving it around at the right frequency. Now she is. So you can try and stimulate it. If you get it wrong, you don't see anything. If you get it right, and she's starting to get it right there. So that's basically what we need to do. We need to find some way of stimulating these otherwise stable but resonant systems. Thank you very much, Kim.